if you yeah honestly that is my least favorite thing to do in the universe is audition I just can't stand it uh you know I love to perform but I hate to audition because I always feel like there's just so much judgment you know but so what I learned is somebody said to me I don't remember I think I, I was talking to a casting director and he said this to me and he he was auditioning this guy and he said, I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to do it again. I know this, you know, sorry about that. And the actor said, are you kidding? I get a chance for five minutes today to do what I love to do. This That's a gift you're giving me. And I thought, oh my God, that's such an interesting way to look at it. It's not an audition. It's a chance to do what you love to do, you know? So that helped me, I think, just trying to to take it from that perspective just to enjoy the performing of it and not worry about oh, what if I mess up or what are they thinking? And is this what they want? Cause ultimately you can't control any of that. So that helped, but also um, I think sitting on the other side of the table helped when I'm casting shows. Um, I really do realize that it's we're sitting there at the table, hoping that the next person that comes through the door is going to like solve all the problems we have because we don't, we have a show that we are contractually obligated to do. And at this point we have no actors to do it. <laughs> so we need like brilliant people to come in and blow us out of the water. Right. So we're not sitting in judge. There are those jerks that are like eating sandwiches and doing whatever, because they they're, they're lacking confidence and they need to try and prove to you how powerful they think they are. But for the most part, we're just kind of sitting there hoping that you are everything we've been dreaming of and we want you to do well. So I always thought they're judging me, but it really, it's, we're rooting for you. We really want you to be everything that we hope you are. So I think those two things really, really help me. I, I mean, granted, I still have a hard time with auditioning after all these years, so I don't really ever do it. And that's the good thing after a certain period of time then you develop a name for yourself and you don't have to audition anymore. And you're like, I'd love to come, but so you put in the work when you're young. And then when you're old and crotchety like me, you don't have to do it anymore. But still, you know, every now and then I have to audition for something and I always have to keep those in mind because it's, it's definitely a struggle for me.